I'm going to demonstrate here how to grind a valve on this valve grinder machine. The very first thing you need to do is make sure that the stones are true, and there are two stones here. So we need to make sure that this surface on the end of this stone is true. We do that with this with this tool right here. And we want to make sure that this surface on this stone is true. We'll do that with this tool. And it'll move back and forth across that stone. So to start with, we'll flip the motor on. We got our oil running here. Just, just keep the oil flow kind of low and make sure it's not going everywhere. Um, it can make a mess. But we'll come up here and we'll we want to take off as little of this stone as we can just to make sure that it's true. So I'll just slowly turn this in until it just touches. You can hear it just barely touching. I'll turn a little bit more. I'll glide that across the stone. And if you hear that it has a sound as it moves all the way across the stone, it's true. So we're good there. We'll come over here to this one. You have to tighten this nut down to hold that in place. Now this will move across that stone like that. So now I'll move that in. And when I get close, I'm going to go very slow. So it just touches that stone. So you listen carefully for the sound of it touching. You don't go too fast or you'll take a whole bunch off of it. You hear that? So now we'll go all the way across. Turn it in just a hair more and go all the way back. Okay, that stone is now true. I'll move this out of the way. Now the first step in grinding the valve is to grind the tip of the valve. And to do that, we set the valve in here. So I can bring this down. I know this, this uh, oil hose gets in the way sometimes. Be careful as you're setting this in here not to hit the valve on the stone or you'll ruin the valve and uh, you'll have to get a new valve if you if you take a chunk out of it. So set it in there, tighten it down, and you want to move that back and forth across the stone. So I'll move it in there close. Make sure the oil's on the on the valve there. And then again I go slow. The whole idea here is the less I can take off, the less material I can take off this valve and make it true, the better. So I'm just going to try to, there we go, just barely contacted it, Move back and forth. I might turn it just a shade more. And then, rather than dragging this across the stone, I'm going to back it off. So I don't drag it across the stone as I'm pulling it away. I pull it out and that's it. Now if I were doing all of my valves, I would grab all of my valves and do the tips at the same time. But I'm just going to do one valve here. So I'll move to the next step. The next step is to make a chamfer on the tip. To do that, we use this fixture. We open this up and clamp the fixture inside of here. Again, without nicking the stone. Okay, once that's tightened in there, carefully set the valve down inside the, the V on this fixture, like this. And what we'll do is we'll, as we move it in, we'll hold it into that V as I rotate it, and that'll grind the chamfer. So I need to move this in slowly again. When I get close, I just want to slow down. There we go, we saw it just touched it. So now I can rotate it like that. I'll just give it a little tiny bit more. Okay, now and rather, rather than grabbing the valve and pulling it out, I'm going to back it off. And if we've done a good job, we'll see that the whole 
top surface of the valve has been cleaned up and it's got a nice new surface. And we've got a nice 45 degree chamfer around the edge. The chamfer is important because now when we grind in the face, the chamfer is what we use to center the valve into the, into the attachment over here. So now we come over here. We'll put this inside of here. This is actually already set up pretty closely to where we want it. But if you come around the back side of this, there's a rod. I don't think this rod will come all the way out because we're hitting the wall. But on the end of that rod is a cone. That cone gets into the chamfer on the valve and it ends up being the depth setting for the valve. See how I push the valve out? So I put the valve where I want it and I push that cone into it. I tighten that down and that's our, that's our depth setting. We only have to do this on the first valve. And then I come over here and I release this chuck. And I can adjust the chuck if I need to as well. You've got it so it's fitting in there. Release the chuck and I push that in there and make sure that it's centered into the cone in the back. And lock it down. So that should be ready to go. Now if I flip this other switch, that'll make it so that the chuck automatically, the motor automatically spins as I lift this lever. So as I raise the lever to bring this in, you can see it spins. I'll bring this over here to the center of the grinding stone. And another thing I want to do here is make sure that I've got my stopper set right. There's the stopper right here. It's just a nut on this on this threaded piece. If I turn it this way, it allows me to move in farther. If I move it back this way, it stops it sooner. I just want to be able to allow it to go far enough in, like that. But I want to stop it so there's no way I can accidentally go too far and hit the stone on the on the valve stem. Again, that would ruin the valve. So I'm going to put the valve right in the center of the stone. I'll slowly move the, the stone to the valve. You can hear it start to contact. And often you'll hear it just kind of making a, a, a cyclic chirping sound as it's only hitting one side of the valve. That's normal, just because it's not completely true yet. But I move this back and forth as I turn it in a little bit more. Now you can hear the sound is a lot more constant and steady. Maybe one more time I'll adjust it in. I move that back and forth. And I'm feeling satisfied now that it's ground a smooth surface, so I'm going to back it off. Again, don't pull it off. Back, back the valve away and then slide it over. And we'll pull it out and we'll take a look at it. And as long as it's got a shiny new surface all the way around on that face, it's good. And we're done. And now later, after we're done, we're going to want to go and measure that margin, which is this strip right here, and make sure that that's still within specification. If I grind too much off of the valve, that margin gets too thin and, and uh, there's a good chance the valve could burn later. So that's the reason why I want to take off as little material as possible when I grind a valve. Just repeat that process. Again, I would do the tips on all of your valves, and I would do the chamfers on all of your valves, and I would come over here and do the face on all of the valves at the same time just to speed up the process. You should resurface the stone on every cylinder head for about every eight to 12 valves. You should true the stones again. That's how you grind valves.